Good evening, everyone. Black Smoke Customs. Figured I'd change it up a little bit for tonight. Let y'all see the man behind all this. Um, we got a little project that we're doing for a customer. We're doing a Peterbilt 379, and I've showed pictures of it in the previous videos and stuff. It was blue and white, and we've got it stripped down, done some fab work on it shave some stuff, stretched it and everything, and I'll show y'all here in a few how the progress is coming with the truck. But for tonight, I'm going to uh, show you how I do my brass mirrors. You can, you know, use styrene if that's what you want to use. I've seen people take and make new brackets and take a DCP mirror and cut the DCP mirror brackets off and put it onto a new bracket um, I've just if I make mine I make mine all new bracket all new mirror housing itself with the lens and everything so we're gonna switch the camera around here in just a few minutes and show you what design I want to do mirrors can be difficult at times depending on you know what style you're going after how custom do you want the truck um, it a lot of the times when I do custom work once I get a truck stripped down and cleaned I will set blocking up to get my wheelbase of how I want the truck to set once that has been established then I like to go in and just really think of how the design of the truck I want it. I talk to the customer, um, ask them how they want it, you know, get, get some ideas of, of the style that they want. When I'm building for myself, it's a lot more time that goes into it because I'm very picky with how I want the truck to look, how I want the stance to look, the colors, the whole design aspect of the truck. So, for myself, it's, it's a total different ball game. But with a customer, you know, you got to build what the customer wants. Because, you know, you can take what they want, which is what I do. I take what they ask for. I fill them out to see how, if they're real strict on how the build needs to be. Or do I have room to put my own twist on things? So when you're building you you just really have to fill out that person and see how they they really want the truck to be um with this truck i asked a customer when he sent me the truck to fill out a piece of paper and tell me what he really wanted on the truck and then he wrote what style visor um the paint colors he didn't give me how it had to be laid out. He just told me the colors. Um, I've been in touch with the customer a little bit as I've went along with the truck and, and showed him pictures. But uh, when, when you're doing for the customer, you know, you got to fill them out to make sure that that's what they want. Uh, you know, you can't, t uh, a customer can't tell you I want a red truck and you paint it purple. Um, you can't, take a somebody that says I want a Peterbilt and you do them a Freightliner so you've got to do in some aspects what the customer wants but if you feel that you have free range of that build you get enough information from that customer and they will either be strict on how they want it or you can have that wiggle room and do your own twist on it and that's what I like to do I like to be free with how I build stuff because my mind is very out there um, I'm not saying that I'm the best in the hobby by no means but I am very creative um, with what I do for a living I'm able to take what I do for a living is construction remodeling so I'm able to take what a homeowner wants and listen to what they say and then I put my own twist or idea on it so when you're doing for a customer just make sure that they're okay with you doing your own 
twist on it or you know if that's how they want it that's how they want it um, but fortunately I'm allowed on this build to stay within what he wants and now I can do what I want um, but when you you got to make sure that you're comfortable and confident on what you do for that build so I've got a design laid out for these mirrors I will draw them out and show you kind of how I want it and if we're not too far into it I will try to build one tonight um, I'm not saying I guarantee I can but I will post pictures maybe before I upload this video um, if not I will do an updated video on the build um, I also have a couple other builds that uh, I will do videos on so that being said I hope these videos are encouraging and helping people out um, I was just real busy last week um, just super just busy with work mowing seasons kicked off um, just been a lot going on so apologize for not getting a video out recently but hopefully we can get back in the swing of things now but um, let's get the camera flipped around and uh, show you kind of what design I'm wanting to do on this mirror all right we got the camera flipped around here I'm gonna kind of show you where this truck sets at this point so we um, shaved the, the lights off the top and we filled in the air horns and on this truck we did a it will be a smooth visor um, some of you have may have seen this truck I'm not sure <clears throat> this was really the first truck that kind of took off in a custom scene for me and first truck I started showing with and it's the blue Peterbilt um, this truck was highly modified had a lot of work done to it um, it's got a BMW blue on it but as you can see if I can get it to glare on this light there is no seam whatsoever on this truck um, this truck has been it was cleared th three or four times and it was color sanded and buffed but this truck has a lot of work done to it um, but that was the first truck that I really kind of took me off into the custom world. Uh, it's got the air horns on it. Um, I won't show too much of it. It's got the Pete emblem inside the grill. But that was kind of the first truck that kind of <clears throat> got me going into the custom world. Also, we've done a heat emblem in the back glass we've filled in the whole back glass and added that also on this frame as you can see the mount for the um, leaf spring the shop the airbag and so forth on the same on the back there's also these big areas here that was protruding out of the frame so what we've done is we've went in to this frame and we have shaved everything to get the fenders sucked in and have a smoother look also we've grinded the back off to allow the um, rear section of the truck to have the same design as the fenders there's a, still some work that needs to be done on this it's it's kind of cattywampus but it was a start for me to kind of get me 
in a direction I was wanting to do. Um, <clears throat> so the mirror that I'm wanting to do on this truck, it was just a design that I come up with. And so kind of what I'm wanting to do is of course on the side, you know, you have your, and this is just a rough sketch. You have your, your mirror bracket coming out like so on the truck. And then it'll roll like this. So that will be your bracket coming off. This will go inside the pins on the doors. Then what I'm wanting to do is bring this mirror, well, <clears throat> let me start over because I done messed up. So this mirror will be here, and we're going to say it's going to be here. I'm just rough sketching this so y'all kind of get an idea. But the mirror will have a design like that. So that will be the style mirror that I've, I've kind of come up with on this truck. Um, what I've got, and I'm sorry if I'm sniffing in the phone. I just had a sneeze attack right, right before we started this. This is KNS 30 second, 30 second thousandths. Now, well, yeah, point thirty two thousandths by quarter brass strip. Um, I'll spit it out here in a minute. So we have this brass flat bar. It's a quarter inch wide and 30, 32 thousandths thick. So this will work good for the, the, um, up part because I have to have enough to get that arch in it and then what we're going to use is um, 364th brass rod it's solid rod and it has no hole it's just a solid piece of rod now this truck is my A model. Um, I done a video of it, and you can tell this truck has a lot of. It's got a lot of flake in it. Um, this is called Tuxedo Black. Um, everything on this truck was hand built, brass frame. Um, this part. Is the only thing on DCP was the rear suspension, and then I used this part for the front, but everything is brass. It has the air horns, all the back sections brass, the pins, the fenders are brass. And to show you, when I painted the truck. I glued rods to that and I was like, well, I need to touch it up. Well, I didn't want to because if anybody ever asked, I can show them that, you know, these are still, these are true fabricated brass fenders. But the point of this truck is the mirrors. These mirrors was designed off of Project One that Texas Chrome Shop Mafia did. It was an orange and white uh, Peterbilt and it had a uh, um, belly dump trailer that they pulled. So this design, 
you can see it good in this mirror. That was all hand shaped out of brass to come up with this design. Now, if you look at the top, you can see that the bottom perch is straight and the top perch angles back towards the pillar on the side of the truck there. So, I just like um, coming up with my own design of a mirror on these trucks. So, if, um, you know, like I said, you can, you can build them out of styrene, but... Um, we've got a disaster here. Our truck is flipped all over. This truck will get the back holes will be filled in. I will just run this hole and this hole. So when I'm bending my rock, my my bracketry. These holes will get opened up a little bit to allow this rod to fit. So, what we'll do is we will take a um, factory DCP mirror. Off of a Peterbilt because that's what's going back on and we will do some now this is a 389 mirror I believe this is what this mirror is just a three bracket but it's a taller mirror so when I'm doing this let me scoot y'all back down a little bit When I'm measuring out a mirror, um, we're about 350 thousandths on that mirror. So I know, according to this mirror, I do not want to exceed that if I don't have to. So, we're going to scribe our line on the brass here. So that's kind of where we're at on the mirror. Now, I'm just going to leave this set here so you can see it. So, I'm going to say that's a center, or not a center, but an edge, and that's an edge, and that's an edge. So, that will give a reference point of our arch. Now, I'm just going to kind of do some doodling here. But this kind of stuff, I mean, it takes a little time to get the look that you want. So as you can see, I'll make a right and a left. So we've got that design. Man, my sinuses are killing me. So I'm just going to take my Dremel and kind of start working this. All I 
I'm doing is just working these edges. I'll show you what I got here in just a second. Let me kind of get the profile. Better yet, we're going to change up. And we're going to change to a different style bit. I'm going to go to this bit here. It's just a sanded disc. And we will throw this in. Let me move this truck and I'll kind of show you how I'm um, getting these contours in. Like I said, I don't want to go too long on this because right now I'm about 20 minutes into this video. But I'm going to just kind of show you the gist of it. <laughs> I want to get rid of that marking so I'm not seeing it. Because what it's going to do, it's going to start throwing me off. See, we've kind of started getting our, our, our profile in it. Now, I'm going to cut this, and then we'll do this bottom piece. So let me zip around here, cut this off, and then we'll start really forming it in. So now we have our little piece of our mirror here. And I'm just gonna take a pair of pliers here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and just kick this end off right here, just kinda get that roll in it. Just to kinda look and see how we're coming with the shape of the mirror. So that's kind of the design with that arch. Now I think I'm too heavy on this side, so I need to take this top and the bottom. I need to do a little work on that. So let me get a get this thing set here so I can hold it. Cause she is gonna get warm. <laughs> Keep it in the shop for y'all so y'all can see. Alright. Now, I like the bottom of this. I like how the bottom looks, but I'm not happy with this top. So. I believe I still need to knock some of the top. Let me see comparison to a DCP mirror. 
the height on it. See, we're pretty, we're pretty close. That gives me enough room to knock it down some, and that's what I need to do. I'm just looking at it, kind of getting which end I want to take out. So we're going. Get this a little bit in here. I don't know this is gonna be hot, hot. See now that looks a lot better. Um, now we need to work on this edge. So let me hit this a little bit. Just looking at it, kind of seeing how I'm liking it. I need to change Dremel. Let's go to this rotary one. about got it let me knock us down a little bit real quick and I'll show you what we got here all right so I'm pretty happy with this right here I may do a little bit more work to it but we got to build a bracket for it but that's kind of the design I wanted to go with the truck. So, if we take it, and this is kind of how I do a lot of stuff, just kind of looking at it. Let me get a pair of tweezers. And kind of just set it up to the truck. And when I do stuff, there's, there's, I try to look at how stuff is done. Um, let me lower the camera just a smidgen because you are still a little high. Let me get down here so y'all can kind of get a better view of it. try to look at how this truck is being designed and everything but if you look at this it kind of mimics the arch here and once it's made that's kind of the look you're going to have on both sides. So that's kind of the look it'll be. I've got to build, bend a rod and get everything soldered up. But just figure I'd show you how, of course, when you build, bend a rod, it's just a very, you just come out, bend up, bend back in, and then I always bend 
I'll look and see how it's pinned into the truck. So, yeah, I'll get the mirrors fabricated and made, and then I'll show y'all at that point once they're made how they look onto the truck. So, that's gonna do it for tonight. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about it. Um, I'm not in this to make any money off of it, so. But I do want to try to help, you know, a lot of the kids out there and some of the adults and stuff that really don't know what's going on. But like I said, that's gonna do it for tonight, and uh, we'll uh, try to get another video out in the next couple of days. So hope everyone has a good evening and. I will catch you all on the next one.